welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I want to thank all of you for joining me today on the best hurricane supplies that you could probably actually have in your arsenal just on the chance that you do get a storm. Now, always remember that even if you do not live in a hurricane prone area or anything, a lot of these supplies are all good for your preps to make sure that you're ready for any type of natural disaster you may be dealing with within your area. All right, number one, you wanna make sure that you always do have water, at least one gallon per person, and you wanna have at least a two-week supply. Food is the same thing, non-perishable. You wanna make sure that you have a two-week supply of food at any given point, whatever it is that you may like, fry goods, um, all those type of different things, canned goods and everything, you wanna make sure that you have those in your arsenal. Number three is flashlights. Make sure that you have any type of flashlight that you like to use. Either it's a headlamp, a regular flashlight, whatever it may be, the ones that strap to your wrist, whatever it is, make sure that you have flashlights. So this way here you can see when the power goes out in the middle of the night. All right, <clears throat> manual can opener is number four. You gotta have a manual can opener. This way you can open up your canned goods. Number five, emergency radio. Self-explanatory, you need to get the information. Number six, solar banks or a gas generator. Now, with those being said, number seven is solar panels or extra gas for your gas generator. This way here you have some way to charge your battery banks. You can do it with the lovely sun, just like this. You set them out right outside. If you do live or you get hurricanes, more than likely you're gonna have plenty of sunshine. So if not, you wanna make sure you got extra gas, don't store too much, and you don't wanna be safe about this, and you don't wanna have any fires, explosions, or anything else, that's the bad deal. Number eight is a propane gas stove, and make sure you have extra gas and propane for that so that you can cook after the storm rolls through and you do not have power. Number nine, cash. Always make sure that you do have cash. A, I would say you want to make sure that you have at least $50 cash for every person that's in your family and always make sure that it is in small bills. So you have to go to the bank. You can't get another bank machine. Go to the bank. Make sure you get one, five, tens and that type of thing. You don't want to give somebody $20 for a bag of ice because they can't make a change. All right. Number 10, first aid kit. Make sure that you always have a good first aid kit. If it is a first aid kit that you use in your house throughout the year, make sure that you're going through it. Make sure that you have everything that you do need and it is well stocked. I would keep extra stock for your first aid kit on the things you use the most in a closet cabinet or storage bin or something like this. This way you always have what you need. Number 11, tarps and cordage, rope, whatever. After a hurricane, you may need those things. So make sure that you do have some. You can buy tarps in any different colors. You can get them camouflaged, blonde, brown, green, black, whatever you want, blue. You know, hey, sky's the limit there, folks. Just make sure you have the tarps and everything that you're going to need. Number 12, waterproof storage systems. Now you can get the waterproof bags, you can get waterproof storage systems, you can do all this different types of stuff. This way here you can store your laptops, your phones, and everything in there during the storm if you're worried about your roof blowing off or whatever, or all your important documents and papers and pictures. That you, whatever you want to do, you can buy this stuff on Amazon, you can get them at Walmart, you can get all different types of containers. Make sure you have some way to keep things safe. Number 13, extra food and supplies for your pets. Don't forget about your little fluffy dog there. You wanna make sure that you do have everything that you need for them, even if they need medical, make sure that they have that. Number 14, extra batteries for all the different types of things that you may have, because not everything is rechargeable. So make sure that you go through, make a list, and make sure that you get what you need as far as batteries. Don't buy batteries you're not gonna use. Make sure you're buying plenty of batteries that you will. Number 15, your go bag. Make sure that your go bag is ready to go. That's why it's called a go bag, folks. And this way here, in an emergency, if you had to leave on a moment's notice, you grab that bag, everything you need is inside of it. Number 16, tools. Make sure that you do have some tools and stuff. Battery operated tools are the best in a hurricane type prone situation. Or, you know, you can always fall back to the good old hammer and nails. You never know, you may need to board up a window, you may need to to fix something or whatever else so make sure that you have tools at your disposal pliers screwdrivers all that type of stuff number 17 dry clothes make sure that you have dry clothes in case that you do get soaked or whatever else you need dry clothes to put on your life will be a lot more comfortable yes i know usually with a hurricane it's warm and everything else 
But if you're all wet and everything, it's not going to be fun. Dry clothes. Number 18, fire extinguisher. Make sure that you do have a fire extinguisher. It is handy and you know how to use it. You know how to open it up. You need to know how to spray it, how far away you need to be. Number 19, gloves. Make sure you have a really, really good pair of gloves. I'd have a couple extra pair if it was me, but make sure that you do have gloves on hand. This way here, if something happens, you gotta be picking up debris, glass, or anything like that, you got yourself covered. And number 20, folks, is the evacuation route for your local area. And make sure that you don't have just a plan A route where it's a regular evacuation route because a lot of people are going to be following that. Make sure you have a route B and possibly even a route C. This way here you can get out of harm's way. Try to get away from some of the traffic, take some of the back roads and get to your destination to a safe place in a time of need. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. This has been the 20 best survival gear and tips. And this way here, it keeps you all safe, keeps you all alive. And until next time, thrive to survive, folks. Get outside, get all your gear and get everything ready. Make sure that you got your list going. Check it off as you complete it. And then you're ready to weather the storm. Till then, catch you all on the flip side. One thing to remember, folks. All this stuff about hurricanes and everything else is all in my playlist. I have a huge, extensive playlist on hurricane preparedness and everything else. This way here, it keeps you safe from the storm and keeps you alive so that you can survive and thrive. All right, folks, so go in and check out that playlist. It'll answer a lot of questions. And if not, shoot me an email at survivalpreparedness69 at gmail.com or comment on the video and I'll do my best to get back to you.